Okay, my name is Scott Thorpe, and I'm from the law firm of Kunzler Intellectual Property Law. And today I'm going to be talking about trade secrets and publishing. Now, most people when they think of protecting intellectual property think about patents. But when you have an idea, there are more than one way, more than patents, to protect it. Two other important ways are publishing that idea and protecting it as a trade secret. Now here's how it works. If you patent an idea, you get the rights to exclude other people from practicing it. If you publish the idea, you make sure that no one can patent it. Now why would that be a good thing? Well, supposing you had an idea, but you made the decision that you weren't going to patent it. If you have that idea, and someone, someone else can also have that idea, and they can go ahead and patent it and come back and prevent you from practicing your own idea. So if you're not going to patent an idea, it's a good idea to make sure that no one can publish it. If you think about a patent as the Abrams tank of the intellectual property world, publishing is a land, a landmine of the world. It's cheap, it's easy, it's fast but it works just as well as a patent for a lot of things. For example, there's a lot of large companies now, some people call them patent trolls, but all they do is buy and maintain intellectual property and then collect royalties from companies who, it, who start to practice uh, some of that intellectual property. If you have taken an idea that you've had and published it, and then that can be used against someone trying to force you to license their technology. You can use that published uh, idea to basically invalidate their patent. It happens all the time, it's extremely useful, and it's cheap. So if you're thinking about what to do with your idea, don't discount making it publish, making it public by publishing it. On the other extreme, you can also protect your idea as a trade secret. And there you're simply saying, we're going to keep this idea secret, we're not going to tell anyone, we're not going to patent it. But by doing certain steps, the law gives you some added protections that you can use to, uh, to keep other people from stealing your idea. Let's go into the details about how trade secrets and publishing work. With a trade secret, the most important thing is you need to actively protect it. And Basically, this involves limiting the number of people within your organization that have access to the trade secret. You, you can restrict the distribution list. You can you know, make sure that it's in a password-protected area of your website. Whatever it is, you have to limit access. And you also have to mark it as confidential. And there's a number of other things that you basically do, but if you actively protect this idea, then later on, if, for example, an employee leaves and takes the idea with them, you have some legal options that will allow you to prevent them from using the idea. So a trade seeker is a very, very powerful idea. Now, when it comes to publication, the most important thing is to simply put the idea where it can be read by the general public and that it's findable. How findable does it have to be? Well, in past court cases, they found that someone having an idea and writing it only in their PhD dissertation, putting that in a library, and the only reference to that was a card catalog entry for that one library, was sufficient to have been published. So basically, you put it out there somewhere, you put it out so someone that's, that's searching for it could conceivably find it, not necessarily they would, but con could conceivably find it, and it's published. And the great thing is, if someone tries to sue you later on and uses that idea as an element of their patent, you can basically invalidate their patent and stop their suit. It's a great thing. It works just like a landmine. It says after you publish it, people can't go there anymore with patents. And it's a great way to protect it. So if you don't have an idea and decide not to patent it, consider publishing it or protecting as a trade secret.